that you can take much more control than you think you can. So I think I've always assumed that the workplace was inflexible, that you had to do things in the way that everything was done and that you didn't have any control over that. So what I've learned is that actually if you talk to people about the things that are difficult and frustrating, if you propose solutions and if you're more creative about what you can do, that actually you can have a lot more control over your career than you think you can when you're in your mid-twenties. So I wish I'd taken a bit more control earlier. Well, I don't know, but I'm sort of sort of playing with this idea at the moment about a national strike because what I see is lots and lots of men and women who are really frustrated with their working hours and would really like to work four day weeks or work really like the kind of working days that our parents worked you know nine to five nine to five thirty and they're all individually taking on these battles and feeling really stressed and getting swept into working too long hours so what I'd like to see is rather than everyone doing it individually, for people who don't want to work those hours to just say, I'm going to leave at 5.30 because that's what I'm paid to do. I'm just going to go because I'd really rather go and climb trees or go for a walk or meet my friends or see my kids, whatever it is, men and women. And, and for all of us kind of collectively to say this hours culture is mad and that we all need to live a bit. I think there's um, a few specific things that make it harder for women. And one of them is the social judgment. So when I write about power mums in management today, um, people who very blithely say that they want more women CEOs and more women in boardrooms find it very difficult to really look at uh, what it means to be a working mum and how much time you don't spend with their children, they're very uncomfortable with it. So one of the comments on one of my interviews on Facebook was, well, she might be powerful, but she's no mother. And really what they were saying was she's not home for her kids, and so she's a shit mom. And so that social judgment is really, really hard. And I've heard lots of stories today about the school gate being excluded and really feeling bad, but also them being excluded at the office because you're not working the hours that everybody else is. And so that social judgment and pressure is much harder for women than for men.